What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. We are carrying on with the S24 Ultra. It's right here next to me, but Rinky were kind enough to send over four cases and this little guy right here. This is the Smart Ring Magnetic and it's got some tricks up its sleeve, but I figured I won't unbox it, I'll just show you it and we'll use it with the MagSafe case they've sent out and I'll show you how it works. So there's that. They sent out the Onyx, they sent out the Fusion X, they sent out the Fusion Bold, which has got the MagSafe on it, and the also just a standard Fusion, which is the clear case by the looks of it. So we'll, I'll rip this out and then I'll just show you it, and then we'll rip the rest out and go from there. So here's the first one. So this one is the Onyx. So there's the Onyx, no MagSafe, but nice case. Let's carry on going. There's one, two, let's move you out the way. And four. Let's go with the clear case first, let's go with the standard fusion and we'll work our way along and use the MagSafe to last. Yeah, nice clear case, nice side, it's got Rinky logo on the bottom right there, the cutouts, little lanyard hole right on this side, cutouts for your mic this side. Power button is etched so you can feel it's really different compared to your volume rockers. Let's go ahead and take off the film, did you make this easy for you? Nope, that bad. So it's like a frosted, so it's like a matte, it's quite nice. Let's get the S24 Ultra in the titanium grey. Now I do have the ESR lens protectors on this, so I don't know how this is going to fare up, but this should be a good test for it. They fit through perfectly, but there's no actual protection there at all. They actually sit right the way through. There we go, there is the fusion case. So nice power button, volume rocker, access to your S Pen on the bottom. Nice, nice and easy speaker, your charge port, your mic, not on this side apart from the lanyard loop, but as I say, no protection there whatsoever for those cameras. I mean, you've got lens protectors on, but no protection there at all. However, there is protection around the full edge of the phone. Now, I do have a screen protector on this one. If you haven't seen that video, that's up here for you guys to check out, but I do have a screen protector on. And this actually covers the entire length of the phone, including the screen protector, so you can place it face down. And not have to worry about the cameras anyway because your phone will be face down and you just obviously turn it and up it goes. There is the fusion case, obviously you can see the colour of your phone through the back but it's like a matte finish. So that's the fusion, no mag safe so we don't need to check that. You can wirelessly charge through all of these cases. So This one right here is the Onyx case, so it's completely black, I've blacked out on the back. Looks like you might have protection for your cameras on this one. You got a nice rinky logo on the bottom right there in this grooved area for your hand to sit and it's also got like a textured finish so obviously it's designed not to slip out your hand. It is a nice flexible case. So let's go ahead and grab the S24 Ultra and let's go ahead and slap it in. And that sits in and because I've got the lens protectors on it's actually sitting not flush at the minute but I mean they are in there so they are protected by that ring adapter that's round the onyx case so it's really really nice to be honest it feels really good in the hand nice clicky buttons you might cut out on the top cut out on the bottom for your s pen nice and easy your speaker your charge port your mic nothing on this side but there is another lanyard loop right here but again you can wirelessly charge but that is the onyx case let me know whether that's one you would go for in the comment section is the onyx something you would go for. I mean, it's got lens protection, it's got protection all the way around so you can place your phone face down and not have to worry. I mean, that is a really, really nice case. I like that a lot. If that had MagSafe, let's go now with the Fusion X. So I think it's got the X on it because obviously it's got one to this little logo right here. But again, nice textured sides. It's very different in the middle right here. There's grooves everywhere. Textured power button, texture on the side, lanyard loop. It says FX in the top right there. So it doesn't say rinky, it just says FX. So let's go ahead and take off the film. Now let's go ahead and slap in the S24 Ultra. Slaps in. So again, nice protection around your camera because it's in that P shape. Now I don't only like cases like this, but obviously this is offering you the most protection for your phone. It's got a full lip right the way around, so you can place it face down. Obviously you can place it down like so and then I'll have to worry about that camera. Nice 
clicky buttons, your volume up has got three dots on it, nothing on the bottom one down but textured on the power button. Nice grippy side so you don't have to worry about dropping your phone. But there is the Fusion X from Rinky. Let me know what you think of that one in the comment section. Is that something you go for, obviously, to show off the colour, but also offer you that drop protection? Because on the corners right here, you've got this drop protection on the on each corner, and it's a nice chunky case, so you've got nothing to worry about, really, with that one. That is a lovely, lovely case. Let me know what you think of that one in the comment section. But now I'm moving on to what would be my go-to case, and that's because it's got MagSafe. Camera housing's in that P-shape. It's going to protect it. Rinky logo on the bottom. Textured sides, hole for the land you cut out. Let me start with the inside first this time. Oh, it's not actually clear, it's actually frosted. That looks quite nice to be honest. You got the MagSafe logo in the middle, magnetic case designed by Rinky. The website made in Korea, live a better day. Let's go ahead and slap in the S24 Ultra. And there we go. Now, even with the lens protectors on, it's still protected. Plus the MagSafe, I think that's a winner to be honest. I think that's absolutely superb. Let me know what you think of the Fusion Bold Magnetic, this one's called. So I think that one is an absolute winner. As I say, you're protecting the cameras, even without the lens protectors on, you're protecting the cameras because of the housing. And you've got that lip running all the way around the edge. Now, as I say, I do have a screen protector on, and it's even covered, and all of these have covered the screen protector really, really well. Can't fault that at all. Nice clicky buttons. Yeah, feels great. So let me bring in the Smart Ring Magnetic. So you'd line it up and set it up like so. Slap it on and then you pull this part out in the middle. You've got a piece that you can stand up so you can sit and watch content if you wanted to. But then also what you can do is you can pop this piece out right here. I can get it out. There we go. So now you can stand it up that way. But also it acts like a bit of a bit more of a stand if you wanted to move it out and do certain positions with it or if you wanted to have it like a tripod style so you can do that so you can set it up to where it's flush to the back and stood up obviously I don't know how safe that would be in the case of like a wind or whatever but it is set up that way that's how good it is with the magnetic ring on it so we'll take that off because what I'm going to test out right now is I'm going to test out its MagSafe strength with the Nomad base stand so if you've watched any of the videos in the past, you know just how heavy this guy is. It's extremely heavy. There's the MagSafe logo on the back right there. Let's slap it on. It slaps into place. It's now wirelessly charging. Will it pick up the base stand? Yes, it will. Picks it up like it's no issue whatsoever. So nice, strong MagSafe. It's really, really good. Let's put it down like so. We'll turn off the screen and we'll check out how it writes with the S Pen. Because obviously as we know some MagSafe has a bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and test it out. Jumps a little bit in certain places. Let's get rid of it. We'll do it all again. So let's see. Let's go there. No issue there. Let's go there. Nope. Let's go there. No issue with lines. Just give me signature. Yeah, it jumped ever so slightly just there. Nothing too major though. You can use it. Yeah, see the jumps ever so slightly. Not much, but there's enough jump in there. There it is, the four cases. Let me know which one you would go for in the comment section down below. Would you go with the standard cases? Would you go with the MagSafe case? And obviously you can pick up the Smart Ring Magnetic as well. All really, really good. I like them a lot. I do like the MagSafe one. Really, really nice. They've done really well. Let me know which one you would go for in the comment section down below. I'm going to link all of these down below to where you can pick them up for yourself, including the Smart Ring. Let me know what you think. But if you like this, drop a like. If you love to drop a sub, turn those notifications on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon. Rah.